is the weekend we're gonna get our stall done. We'll have it fully enclosed so we can start moving in. Truly, Lula, and probably sugar. Probably maple too. Those are the first ones that are gonna give birth. But Lula's gonna go first. And then sugar, Trudy, and maple will all go right after that. So we'll have that stall enclosed this weekend and hopefully we'll be good to go getting them separated so they can eat a little, little more private and a different diet because they're getting to the end of their pregnancy. We also need to do CD and T for all four does. So we'll be doing that next. All right guys, welcome to day 797 of the barn expansion build. No, just kidding. It's, uh, I don't know how long we've been at this, but we're still working on getting the kidding stall finished. The clock is ticking. We are running out of time. So hopefully by the end of this weekend, I can have this room completely wrapped up and ready for kidding. So I went and picked up all of the two by six tongue and groove that we're going to use on this wall. We're going to go halfway up just past the window up here and we're going to put a ledge kind of like we did on the other side of the barn. So this wall hopefully will be completely finished. I did this wall last weekend. So this is what it'll look like. This was some recycled wood that we took out of the other side when we took the divider down between the two stalls. Hopefully we'll have this whole wall done and all of the Dutch doors built and installed this weekend. That would be great progress and I would feel a lot better if we get that all accomplished. Uh, for kidding season so that we have a nice warm enclosed space separate from the rest of the goats so that we can have kiddings over here so let's get to it all right it's time to give our first cd and t shot to lula just gonna inject it under the skin Next up is Trudy and she is huge. I don't know if she just, her belly looks super big because she's kind of a shorter doe, but she just looks like the biggest goat, the biggest so far. So we gotta give her her CDT. And here's what her butter looks like. Okay, just gave Shuggy her shot. And her udder's coming in just like Mavis's. So that is good news. Alright, got a couple boards up. It's going pretty good. Um, we're using this on the lower section. It's a little bit thicker than what we would use on the upper section so that we can attach hay feeders. We could put bucket hooks. We can just hang things in general and it gives us a nice thick material to screw into. So, and then if we down later on down the road, we don't have goats in this stall, then we don't have to worry about it being strong enough. So it's a little bit overkill for goats, but I think this works out really well. It's a two by six tongue and groove. I'm not liking how this looks different. <laughs> we don't care about that. It just I'm not doing it. Looks different. Oh, but that's it's a okay. nice board. Oh, that's a nice one. Who picked that one? This should go up pretty quick. We're at 
a kind of speedy process. Huh? The walls go up pretty fast, huh? So you think this weekend we'll have goats in here? Maybe. We'll see. Okay, last goat to do is Maple. And when we ultrasounded her, we seen quite a few babies, but with the size of her udder and the size of her belly, I am assuming she has a single. Hopefully two. Singles are never fun, but I'm feeling like it's a single because she has hardly any udder development and she's just really small still. So let's give her her CD&T. Oh man, guys, we're making some progress. So I've got all of the walls up right here on the lower part. I went ahead and put in our shelf that we usually do. So we did this little shelf over on the other side of the barn too. And it's really nice to be able to put like medicine or, you know, something on there or, um, you know, your drinks or just whatever. If you need to set something up, up here on the shelf in the barn, um, it's kind of handy. And so now that we've got the lower area done, I'm going to trim out this window a little bit, clean that up, but I'm going to start doing the shiplap uh, so that it matches the inside of our barn over there. So we'll start working on this shiplap. We'll go up with the shiplap. And then yes, we are going to do a ceiling in the milk room. And so that those rafters up there, there'll be a ceiling on that. So it's moving right along. It's about dinner time. So I'm probably going to have to get some food, get some fuel, get ready for the night shift. <laughs> so once we get this ship lap up on the walls, we'll get as much up as we can. And then we'll start working on the Dutch doors. All right. I think that's enough for this evening. I got the uh, little surprise for Jennifer. I, I trimmed out the, the hobbit hole window. thought it just needed a, something a little special. It's a little nice little viewing window. So I trimmed it out. Plus I had a little tough time getting the tongue and groove boards around the window and it looked really choppy. So I put some trim around it to make it look a little nicer. So, um, so that came out good. And then now all I got to do is clean up this gigantic mess. It's like a sawdust hurricane went through here. So let's, let's do some movie magic. Let's get this mess cleaned up. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, come on. Okay, one more time. It's got to work. There it goes. All right. That's more like it. Cool. So, um, I did want to talk a little bit about these barn windows that we order. So, these are from American Window. And we'll leave the link in the description down below of where we order these, the website we order these. And they can custom make these to whatever size you want and they're actually really affordable um, <clears throat> so these ones i originally got for the front of the barn on the other side and so i framed this opening the same size as that i just have them temporary in here right now i think we'll do some hinges or something like we did in the on the other side um, but these windows are really cool you can you can tell them how wide you want them uh, how large you want them. They're actually, I, I think they're sash windows. They're supposed to be two pieces, um, but we just use them as, you know, barn windows. Um, and the only reason why we didn't use that on the, on the Hobbit window is because that backs up to the milk room and we want the milk room to stay really sealed. So we want to have really good sealed window, um, with a screen so that flies and stuff can't get in there. Um, so that we can open that. We just wanted a little small one so we could peek in. But these are just a single pane, uh, but they're really high quality and you can get them in PVC or wood. Um, so I get the wood so that we stain it and it matches the outside. And I think they're just a really cool look. You can also change the um, style of this to just have, you could have more or less. Um, but it's really cool shipping. I've never had an issue with them. They've always shipped them out quick. Even the custom made windows come pretty quick. I mean, they're just awesome. It's an awesome company that we're not sponsored or anything like that, but it's just a really cool company. Again, I'll leave the link in the description below and they look really neat from the outside. You can kind of see they just, they just blend in really nice with the barn. They give it a nice look. We've got this wall done 
and we've got the the little viewing window all trimmed out. The goats will probably eat that trim, but that's okay. We're going to start working next, probably on getting a door, getting an access door from the barn aisleway into this space so that we don't have to come through this door. And then I'll work on doing the Dutch doors so we can get this all sealed off. I'll get some plugins in here so we can plug in some heat mats and uh, we should be good to go. So Jennifer wanted to test out the hobbit hole. Hello. <laughs> How's it work? Works really good. It's like you're st I'm standing up on this side, so I know it looks slow from inside the stall. But this is gonna be nice. It's like perfect height. Look at that. Like I measured your like I measured your face. <laughs> All right, I think it's coming along really good. We made a lot of progress today, so hopefully uh, we can get this all done before Lula kids. How lucky are we to be able to be doing this and you know, I just have the opportunity to, to film it for you guys. And um, I mean, we're just, I mean, it's a little over the top, but you know, we spend a lot of time down here at the barn. This is, this is kind of where we live uh, in the summertime. We're down here all the time. It's not just for the goats, it's for us too. We spend a lot of time down here with the goats and just at the barn in general. Uh, why not, you know, why not make it nice to be in? And again, it's just, we feel just so lucky to uh, be down here and building and doing our thing. And for you guys to, to be watching and hanging out with us, I think it's awesome. We really appreciate you guys and we will see you guys in the next video.